The Canada-Nigeria Expo 2022 availed the Minister of State Federal Capital Territory, Dr. Ramatu Tijani Aliu, an excellent platform to showcase the business opportunities in Abuja, Nigeria, to the government of Ontario and Nigerians in Canada. Nigeria's determination towards economic diversification is a major driving force for the Minister of State for the Federal Capital Territory. Given the enormous resources in the non oil export sector worth billions of dollars. Dr. Ramatu Tijani Aliu and the High Commissioner of Nigeria to Canada, Adenka Ashekun, led a team to the Queen's Park and Legislative Assembly of Ontario. Ontario's Minister of Economic Development, Job Creation and Trade, Vic Federley, and the member of provincial parliament, Logan Kanapathi, received the delegation at the parliamentary building. The essence was to meet government officials and parliamentarians to showcase Abuja, the federal capital territory, and to attract foreign direct investment to the city. They discussed agribusiness and agro-allied opportunities, social development issues, education, housing, and other areas of need in the federal capital territory. It's accessible to all states, all the, all the parts of the country, oh. in equity stance. Wow, very nice. So it offers everything you can do, good climate, good weather, topography, to do anything accessibility to everywhere because it is the center of Nigeria and its home. Population of about six million people the resident the city, in the, the yeah. city of Nigeria. Yes. And you still have you know the influx of people bustling in and out yeah. uh, for daily businesses. So the potential of business is huge. Yeah. Calling on investors and at least wanting to partner with Canada to establish a relationship by exchange of you know, our culture values, yes. which is yeah. rich also yeah. in Canada, yeah. Uh, From a trade perspective. The trade perspective. So something you need? Yes, there is. One, you, are, you could come in to establish, for instance, the affordable housing patterns. We appreciate the housing system in, you know, Canada. Yep, yep. And we have the expanse of land to give the fitting accommodation to, you know, visitors. Yep. Also establishing hotels to give, you know, the fitting accommodation to tourists to is another big area of business. Again, in packaging of foods, you know, and agri products. Also, this is an area you can do. Yes. Yeah. So, under the federal capital territory, it's not just like a ministry. There is the trade and investment in it. There is the, you know, uh, ICT under it. Yeah. The agriculture in itself under it. The culture and environment also under it. For instance, under the agriculture, you have the special processing zone. This is bustling now, yeah. heavily, because in its centrality, it's also access to the airport, access to the train station. And in the agriculture now in the Abuja, we are trying to deal with the entire livestock value chain. So to you, High Commissioner, yes. I would say, come and visit uh, my riding in North Bay. It's just down Highway 17, about a four hour drive from Ottawa, straight down Highway 17. And I will take you to a dairy farm Whoa. where the humans don't even interact with the cows. The cows, if, if it would be like a table like this, the cows, um, when they're hungry, they get into the line and it's all automated. They're all through Ontario, but the place we'll visit is a little town called Powassan. So what can Canada trade, basically? Food. Food. Food, so And that was that, that actually that is why I picked on the agriculture. Yep. One area in which we have found yeah. a lot of uh, uh, interest from the province has to do with the, in the, is the space of education, right. collaboration. That's an area where we found Canada very, that very... Is a great one. Yeah. So Ottawa University, for instance, paid a visit to Nigeria in, in April. And they even met with the vice president. Yeah. Yeah. So part of what they had in mind was to come and, and launch a scholarship program. So from starting from this September, this this um, this fall, they're gonna be very, very aggressively offering scholarships. You know, and Nigeria and they came to create to create awareness 
in the Nigerian Secondary School to let them be aware of the possibility of this. See, what's happening now is that um, Canadian institutions are moving beyond the, the whole concept of simply coming to Nigeria to recruit students. Absolutely. They've seen the pedigree and quality mm -hmm. of our, our scholarship, mm -hmm. and now there's desire for collaboration in terms of um, curriculum enhancement, exchange yeah. programs. Dr. Ramatu Tijani Aliu's delegation also attended the parliamentary sitting and met with the Premier of Ontario, Honorable Doug Ford, and some ministers of the administration and various members of provincial parliament to the Legislative Assembly of Ontario. Ambassador Akin Remy Bolaji, Director of Economic, Trade and Investment from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Nigeria, also on the minister's entourage says, the ministry and the Nigeria High Commission in Ottawa will ensure the sustainability of the deliverables from the minister's visit to Ontario. You can see the mayor of Brampton, you can see the premier, you can see the legislators. They were all ready and excited to receive us. So the, the system is well mobilized. Things are really changing in Nigeria now and we are sure that foreign affairs is playing its coordinating role. I'm Joy Osiago reporting from the Legislative Assembly of Ontario in Toronto.